So today we'll be talking about um, making a peplum. So there are two ways to make your peplum. Your peplum can be cut straight or round. So it could be cut straight or round. So there are two ways you can cut your, your peplum. So but today we'll be talking majorly on the round method of cutting a peplum. That's the circle method. So starting with a 360 degree. Yeah. So 360 degree it was a full circle. So how do you cut a full circle? You cut your full circle by first getting what your radius. And how do we calculate our radius? Our radius is equal to the waist divided by 6.2 eight. This 6.2 eight is constant for getting what a full circle. Yes. So assuming now I have I want to cut the 360 degree from now, and I'm waist 28. How do I do it? I do my waist plus 2 inches. 2 inches as my sewing allowance. So I divide it by what? 6.28. So that's 28 plus 2 divided by 6.28, which is 30 divided by 6.28, which gives me what? 4. Point eight. Again, give me point point seven seven approximately four point eight. So I can actually just approximate it to what to five. So I'll know that my circle, my radius for my circle is what five inches. Five inches. That's for what a three sixty degree peplum. Next is what the seven twenty degree peplum. You know I've said a constant for calculating our radius. For the 360 is what waist divided by 6.28 and waist divided by 6.28 that's for what our 360 to get the radius for our 360 degree per plot. Yeah. So for the 720 degree per plot, how do you calculate it? That means when you divide 720 by 360, that's two. That means we want to get two circles now. Two circles. Three sixty was one. It was just one piece you are cutting. But for seven twenty degree, you are cutting two pieces as two circles, two peplums, which will be what three sixty degree each. This will be three sixty degree each. Three sixty degree, three sixty degree. So how do we do this? For us to get the radius for a circle now, one circle each now. You know, as when we use this method now, we have excess waste. But for us to calculate this now. The two, you have to get the radius. You divide her waist first. The waist, you divide it by what? By two. That's waist 28. Now, no, we are using waist 28. Our waist for this class is what waist 28. That's my waist. So, 28. So, dividing it by two. 28 divided by two. I have what? 14. So, now the radius I'll be getting will be the radius for this 14. Yes, radius 14 for this, radius 14 for this circle, circle. So, but you remember, we nothing to do the one for 360 degree. I added 2 inches for our sewing allowance. So, you could add 1 or 2, your choice. So, for this one also, I'll have to add allowance also. Because we have to join both circles. After cutting it, we have to join them together. So, I need allowance to actually join them together and get what my exact weight also. So I'll add 1 inch to 14, that's 15. And I'll divide this 15 by 6.28. By 6.28. So which will give me what? 2.4. I decide to use 2.5 inch for this approximately. 2.5 inch. So that means when I'm cutting this, I'll be using 2.5 radius. And I'm cutting this, I'm using 2.4, 2.5 radius for cells 20 degree. So that means for 360, I have one peplum. For cell 20 degree, I have what? I have two peplums that I'm cutting out. Okay, guys, we are still watching this video and you've not yet given me a thumbs up. Please do, please give me a thumbs up. Also, if you have not subscribed, subscribe to my channel please and comment i want to see your comments let me know if this video has been helpful to you 
let me know more videos you want me to produce thank you guys so we move into the 1440 degree peplum huh? yes. remember our radius is 6.28 that we are dividing our waist width so for 1440 now if we divide 1440 by 360 we have 4 so 360 times 4 give us 1440 so that means we'll be having four circles one two three four so we are going to be doing four peplons to get what 1440 you know for 720 we think it was two peplons also there is 1080 degree that one is three peplons you'll be making for that so let me explain 1440 also. So it's the same process for 1440, that was for 1080 degree, which is this will be three circles instead, while this will be four circles. So the same thing we are doing with that, we'll divide our waist by four. Divide our waist by four. Why for 1080 degree, we divide our waist by three. So divide our waist by four. That is 28 divided by 4. That's 7. So how do we get our radius now? So our radius our radius will be 7 plus 1. Remember I'm showing the numbers. You have to join these four together to get one peplum. So 7 plus 1 divided by 6.28 so that is 8 6.28 which will give us 1.3 so this will be our radius for each of these peplums for this one we have 1.3 1.3 1.3 1.3 so after cutting it out we join the four together to give us one peplum that will give us 1440 degree so now, as you know, you want to make a peplum, but you want to plate it now. You want to plate it, so you might say, okay, you want to make a 360 degree peplum, but you want to plate your peplum. How do you go about it? So remember, our 360 is weight divided by 6.2. It's so number to hard your allowance. <coughs> Excuse me, please. So remember to add your allowance that plus two inches or plus one inch at least. Allowance. So, as many you want to make a, a peplum that you want to pleat, because we have different types of pleat for a peplum. We have the kiss pleat, we have the knife pleat, we have the box pleat, we have the um, gathers. So, it depends on what you want. And you want to cut it in a circle. So, you can actually cut, if you're actually pleating, your peplum, you can cut it straight, yes, for you to have full because when you're cutting straight, you can multiply your waist by at least 2.5, you can multiply by 3, you can multiply by 4, and how much more you multiply is how much more it will be full. But for a circle, there's a limit to how much you can multiply your waist because of, of the fabric, most of the agar fabric now. You can't multiply it too much for you to get a full circle, even if you won't get a full circle. You have to do patch patch or you have to join it together. So most times you can just multiply your waist by two. That's twenty-eight by two. So I'm assuming this is the waist you are working with. That's I'm using twenty-eight. So the waist to be what waist times two divided by six point two eight. So I get a radius. So do you want fifty-six? Divided by 6.28, and this will give us 8.9. That is approximately 9 inch. So, this will be the radius we'll be working with for our peplum that will be pleated. That will be pleated now. But if you want a normal waist, like exact size for your waist, you do not need to multiply by 2. 
you use your waist and then like six point two eight to get what your range is. Good. So guys, we've learned the radial aspect of cutting the peplum now. We learned the radial aspect of cutting the three sixty seven twenty not as good. So I'll be making a video next after this on um, how to cut a seven twenty degree peplum. So I'll be showing you how to incorporate the radius we've calculated now, how we're going to use that measurement on our peplum, actually cutting our peplum. So that'll be what my next video will be about. And also be teaching you how to sew your peplum using cranial line. We have different cranial lines. These are the common ones, this white and the black one, these are the big ones. Then we have this small one also, it's also a cranial line. Depending on what you're making or the place you're placing your peplum on uh, so you can use this for your arm peplum your sleeve peplum and your sleeve peplum and all that and you can use this for your waist peplum and all that so i'll be showing you how to actually fix this on your peplum and how to sew it so when i show you how to cut a 720 degree peplum you understand how to cut the 360 degree and the 1440 degree how to incorporate the radius which we have calculated to actually use it to cut your peplum so guys i'll catch you guys in the next class do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you guys bye